Hello frogs, welcome, welcome, welcome to the redstone and the frogs. Today we'll keep with the tree farming stuff. And I know, those are mushrooms, but you get me. This design that we'll be building today has been around for quite some time, and I really don't know who's the first to build it, but... You know, it's an easy one. This setup is not the most efficient of them all, but you can do it from pretty early on, because it's not that expensive. These are the materials that you will need. 20 redstone torches, 22 redstone dust, 1 levo, 36 pistons, 25 smooth stones, a glass, redstone repeater and a slab. I know 36 pistons sounds like a lot but it's not that much. Ok, let's start building. First we we'll place the on and off switch right here and we we'll put the lever on. Redstone dust, a grass block that <laughs> I kind of forgot. There. Now, we put the repeater with two ticks, and that is important. If you don't put two ticks, the wavelength will be too short. Now, block, block, as you can see there. Rest on dust. Rest on torch. Block on top. And as you can see here, now we have to put this rest on dust. Torch here, sorry and then a block on top and a rest on dust. This torch is very important, needs to be off. If it's on, you have done something wrong, <laughs> basically. Now, for pistons, like so, okay. And now we go five, temporary block, slab, like this. Now it's working. And how do we check this? Well, with a sapling and some bone. So, with the sapling in our left hand and the bone in the right, we dig a trench, place the sapling and keep right click. Now it should grow, eventually. Finally, sometimes you have to spend a lot of bone for this. And now, as you can see, every single lock is being pushed. And if we were to keep this for a little while, a little while now we have a little line of lobs and we can continue building. So, I recommend to leave a, between 3 and 4 blocks before starting the big wall that will push all the logs in front of. So, what we want to do is to set up the 36 pistons in this manner. So, 4 rows of 8. 3, 6, 7, 8. Perfect. And now we go to the end and set up what is cool and smart piston. So, rest on torch there, rest on dust, glass block, rest on dust, block, and now a repeater without any delay. And this needs to be a glass, well, it doesn't need to, but if it is a solid block, this piston will fire first, so it's, it doesn't really matter, but I don't want to do it like that. So, now, we put a block there and make a long row to here. Rest on torch on top, block, and we keep doing this. And now we fall. Now, we put a lot of torches here, like so. Here, do the same. And now all the pistons should be extended. But if we were to put all the rest on here, you will see as the pistons retract. And we repeat that over. Okay, now let's make a little test run, shall we? Okay, a few more and it will grow. Let's see if Minecraft decides to work properly. They need to patch this. I mean, you can spend a stack of bones just to grow one tree. That's nuts. It's nuts. Okay, it has worked. It has worked, you see? Now we have a clean row and all these logs can now go inside. As you can see, I don't know how I'm going to edit this. As you could see, 
I had to spend a lot of bone meal and this is why this is not the most efficient but if you set it up in the background and you just come in here and leave a sapling and then you know keep working on your stuff the tree will eventually grow up and get pushed so in due time you will have all this filled with logs and then you can go in and collect them like so anyway that will be all for today's episode of frogs hope you liked it and it's been useful. See you in the next one. See ya!